Wonderful. This is Abe Freetanza from Awards Radar, and I'm so excited to be speaking with Kerry Washington and Delroy Lindo about Unprisoned. How are you both doing today? We're well, good. Thank, thank you. you. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Uh, this show is really great. You guys have done so many different uh, roles in your career. What stood out to you about this project? Oh, I think the opportunity to um, to tell a story about a community that is marginalized a lot in our narrative. You know, like we, the reality is in this country, we have 80 million Americans living with a criminal record. And for each of those people, there's a circle of people around them that loves them. And all of those millions of folks are impacted by the criminal justice system. And we tell a lot of stories about people going into prison and we've told stories about what it's like in prison, but to really excavate this idea of what it means to be a returning citizen, somebody who is, who's unprisoned and what it means to love somebody who's unprisoned and to try to be unprisoned yourself as you coexist and love each other. I mean, it just, it's such a privilege to, to be able to tell this story and be these characters. And there's such a great sense of humor, I think, that exists in this show. Uh, is there any improv involved in your, you know, your character banter? There is some. Mm -hmm. There is some, actually. I want to go back and, and, and just address what you asked initially. Oh, please. Absolutely. I'll tell you, the word that came to my mind was generosity. Mm. Um, gener generosity of spirit, openness. Um, there was and there is a generosity and an openness inside this work and inside this process that has been fundamental to creating what it is that you as an audience are seeing. Um, that openness and that generosity came from Carrie, it came from um, uh, uh, Tracy, um, came from Yvette, it came from all of the people who were involved in this. And an you. Open, and me, yeah. Mm -hmm. We've we've had to be open, and yeah. that and that openness and that generosity that we've exhibited uh, towards each other and with the work has created what you what you're seeing. Absolutely, I think that I don't know what your second question was because I talked. <laughs> no, it's great. I, I absolutely. I'm happy that you were able to answer it. Uh, whether there's any imp improv in the, oh. uh, the scenes oh, yeah. you have together. I'm always interested in this question because I never want to insult the writers by saying like, oh yeah, we improv everything and it was brilliant. There was some improv on set, but I would say it, this is one of those situations where even the improv was actually supported by the writers because right. the right. characters they wrote and the circumstances they wrote were so real and so, um, it just was such wonderful material. And we got to be in conversation, you know, as producers, we both got to be in conversation about the material. So if a line didn't feel right, we got to say, how about this? Or what does this mean? Can I say this instead? So by the time we got on set, there was a, a real sense of clarity and, and purpose and mission and commitment to the words on the page. And if we jumped off those words into something else, it was because we were inspired by the words on the page to build on them, to add to them in ways that were really fun. And it was also really fun to surprise each each other because the material right. was so strong and the character work was so strong and beautiful that we could we knew how to improv and surprise each other within the framework of the material and not um not be in contrast or, or not um against yeah, um, in conflict in, in conflict with the written material with the written material listen and, and um improv 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 how many have you seen how many um uh, episodes have you seen i've seen a few okay so uh, so no spoil, spoiler alert, but <laughs> toward the end, toward the end, um, there is a scene when I come back, oh, after I got busted, mm -hmm. I come back. There's a scene between uh, myself, my daughter, my grandson that just lifted off. Mm -hmm. And I would say in terms of improv, I would say this, I would say that as exactly what Carrie said, the writing in the scene was a wonderful scaffolding that it gave us. But because emotionally, we all started riffing on top of that scaffolding. And it took the scene. Yeah, some other place. And um, the director was smart enough, all of us were smart, smart enough to, 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 to um, embrace that mm -hmm. and allow. And it was almost like, 
emotional improv. Mm. You know, one mm. was reacting and responding in ways that one had not necessarily anticipated, but it was right for the for the moment. It was right for the scene. And but the writing was sufficiently there and there was enough of a scaffolding in terms of what the writing had given us that we it it, it served as a liftoff for us. That's great. That was, that was in, there was a certain amount of improv in, in that mm -hmm. scene. That's great. I'll look out for that scene. Thank you both for giving me some insight into your process. And I look forward to everyone seeing the show. Thank God bless. you so Thank much. You.